Now you saw the cheerleading video and now that high school girl forced into doing the splits, she's being bullied. Her story quickly gained national attention for that disturbing video showing her screaming in pain. Liz Gillardi is at DPS headquarters in Denver. This is a tough situation for this young woman, Liz. And Shannon, it is a tough situation and we just learned that Denver Public Schools is expecting to update us within the hour. We're going to bring that to you live at six o'clock. But the cheerleader seen in that video, she was back at school today and you know, she's just entering her high school year, freshman year. That can be difficult enough and anti-bullying uh, advocates are coming to her defense. A video going viral on the internet. When I showed it to my own daughter who has been the victim of bullying and cyberbullying, she couldn't watch it. Still hard to watch as this teen is forced into doing the splits. Now the fallout from that video, the 13 year old cheerleader in it is being cyberbullied. She had some cyberbullying going on and she was up till like three, four in the morning crying. Her mom told us that as she tried to expose what was going on at her daughter's school after she said school officials didn't think her concerns were valid. I'm proud that that family isn't hiding what happened, even with what the backlash that they're experiencing right now. Anti-bullying advocate Anna Berry and her daughter Ashley feel for this teenager just starting her high school career overnight she became a target. The mother daughter duo previously testified at the state house in support of cyberbullying legislation. But here's the thing. There are laws in place now in Colorado. It is against the law to bully, threaten, um, intimidate, do anything to intentionally bring harm physically or mentally to a child going after a 13 year old girl online all because her family spoke up against a coach and the way she was being treated. Somebody had attacked my little girl and people sat around and let it happen and nobody stopped them. And the mother we interviewed says really the biggest thing the school community can do right now is to support her. She's also encouraging parents to use this as a learning opportunity to sit down with their children, also monitor their social media accounts. And again, we are expecting an update from DPS at six o'clock. We'll bring that to you live. Reporting live with Gilardi, Denver 7. Thank you, right. Liz. Liz, thank you. Now